okay so let's take a look at how you can install bitnami's ghost cms okay so first thing to do is go to bitnami.com and they check for application catalog so in application catalog you will see list of the installers that bitnami offers okay so here you can see if you scroll below you will find ghost cms right here so it's mostly used for blog and uh, small sites so click on this link so it should take you to multiple options to install it so for cloud you can see there is single tire on cloud then there is docker right then there is also kubernetes win mac linux and other options so in my case this is windows installer right so i'm going to choose that and here i have just downloaded this exe on my desktop okay so i'm going to double click on this okay it will require us to use admin privilege so i may have to update that okay so click on yes okay so once that installer starts it will show you the image of bitnami here and we may have to add few settings like port and we may also have to check for the place where it installs it okay so basically you can go with default bitnami ghost or you can go for other installation option as well so currently i'm going with c bitnami goes so click next okay so do note that when you choose c drive usually you have permission options considering this is your bootable right so next would be click next here you can choose the username then email address and then password so let me choose my real name let's see choose my email let's go with something simple so let me add ghost as password right now click next okay so it needs a bigger password right so let's go there okay hopefully now it accepts that okay so it also wants me to use uh, alphanumeric right make sure that you have one uppercase and one lowercase click next okay now here you can see uh, currently the port is 3307 uh, let me choose something different let me choose 3507 or you can also go for let's say okay something like let's say 6007 let's go with that 6307 click next if you want you can go with e16607 right so that there won't be any conflict with existing ports right so click next now here you can see your domain is 192.168.56 or 1 okay so domain or ip that will be used to access the application okay so what you can do is 127 zero zero one will be the local host so choose that click next uh, you can ignore the gmail support click next okay i don't want to use cloud features so i will click next again setup will start okay and now it should begin installation 
okay so after accepting some of the permissions what you can do is reach the end of your setup click on finish to launch that particular go cms instance okay so it should open in one of the tabs of your browser okay here you can see your 127001 local host and there will be mention of the port as well so we'll wait for that to appear okay so if you see something like this that means ghost is installed